Oh man, this one doesn't make me feel good to talk about at all. To be honest, like, I feel really bad. And I say that every time we talk about Philadelphia Flyers, guys. It's always the Flyers, man. Like, I think the Vancouver Canucks curse of injuries that plagued the team for so long towards the end of the Sedin years, that curse is kind of cut and pasted itself all the way across North America into the city of brotherly love where it's always sunny. It's in Philadelphia now. We started off by talking about the Nolan Patrick situation that unfortunately carried over into years in his Vegas tenure, that in which we actually talked about yesterday, so you can go ahead and check out the video from then. We also talked about Ryan Ellis, a very good defenseman that the Flyers have in their system that has not played... Like, you can count the number of games on one hand, the amount of times he is suited up for the Philadelphia Flyers, despite being the talent that he is, and despite being the very expensive contract that he is, too, which is kind of justified because he's that good. But then again, it's on the LTIR now. Who cares? And when it comes to this player in particular, too, this guy has been one of my favorites to watch over the last few years. He's really developed into one of the best two-way centers in the NHL, at least when he's healthy. And when you talk about the continued success that he had had at the National Hockey League level, hey, there's a reason why he was given a contract extension till 2030, which will see him making $7.75 million a season. He's 29 years old right now, a big left-handed center, 6'4", 212. It is Sean Couturier. And as I said... It took him a while to develop into what he is now. He was taken back in 2011, eighth overall. He had made the team right away in 2011, 2012, and he was always just a guy. You know, I mean, consistent 30, 40-ish point guy in Philadelphia, doing some pretty good things, scoring some good points. But in 2017, 18, Couturier started to become legitimately good. Back-to-back 76-point -back years, he eventually became a guy who was scoring at under a point-per-game pace. He helped out the Philadelphia Flyers when they made the second round in the 2020 bubble, and he was under a point-per-game in 2020-2021. It's just, you can see that despite the very good success that he was having, point production-wise and two-way-wise, he was a face-off winning machine, he was great in his own zone, he could make reads, he could stop up opposing play, despite the fact that Couturier was legitimately great, he only played 29 games in 21-22. He had 17 points, which is nice, but the games were cut short. The reason for this was because last season, he had himself a back issue that caused him to get surgery, and that sidelined him for the entire 21-22 campaign from that point on. And so, with Couture potentially getting set to return to Philadelphia in the 22-23 season, fans were looking up. Okay, who cares if Ryan Ellis is out? We kind of expected that. For Sean Couture, he'll be back and it'll be good. Until we had ourselves this update here on Twitter. Take a look at this article published by Crossing Broad, talking about how Sean Couture is going to miss significant time for the Flyers with yet another back injury. This tweet was then quote-tweeted by Elliot Friedman. More detail on the story here by Anthony Sanfilippo. Couturier and the Flyers are seeking a second opinion to determine the exact nature of the injury. The pain started to occur within the last few days during a skate. While it is in the same area as Couturier's last injury wherein he required surgery, there is no certainty yet as to whether or not it is the same injury. You then had Chuck Fletcher going out there saying this regarding Couturier. He has an upper body injury and will be reevaluated during training camp. He is considered week to week. Now, look, the thing is, week to week is a good thing, right? It's supposed to be a good thing? Okay, you're not good right now? We'll check up in a week, and then we'll see if you're good again then. If you're not good then, we'll check up the next week. In theory, it's not that bad. But as a Vancouver Canucks fan who has played this song and dance before, week to week is a pretty bad piece of information to be getting for a guy. Let's go over onto Frank Saravelli, who also tweeted out something further to Anthony Sanfilippo's point. I'm told that the Flyers are hoping Couture's back will heal in six to eight weeks. But if it doesn't, surgery would be required, which could put him on the shelf for a significant period of time. Later in the day, we had ourselves the Niels Lungfist to Dallas trade, which kind of took the spotlight away from Couturier when it came to what the NHL people were talking about. But either way, we have ourselves articles coming out now. For example, this one on phillyhockeynow.com. 
talking about how the Flyers' Sean Couture is in limbo. How could the lineup look without its top-line center, published by Sam Carcitti two days ago? Link will be in the description if you want to go ahead and read this, as well as the other piece from Anthony Sanfilippo. I wanted to read a few paragraphs from this piece because I do think it highlights a few interesting points about the situation. Starting off with this, this is the beginning of the article. Danny Briere, now a Philadelphia Flyers front office executive and top line center Sean Couturier, they're close friends. When Briere played for the Flyers, he took Couturier into his Haddonfield home and they lived together for a while. Their bond grew stronger. So, Briere was surprised when reports came out Monday that Couturier had a setback and that he would be sidelined for a while. Earlier in the day, Briere said, Kachuri had downplayed issues with his surgically repaired back. Honestly, I talked to him Monday morning. He's been so gung-ho about feeling great and training harder this summer and being ready to go, Briere said on Tuesday. And Monday morning, he said, I've got a little tightness today, but a couple more days and I'll be fine. Later in the day, the Flyers released a statement saying that he was week to week. And then we had the reports going out that we had just read from Frank Saravelli, etc. When I saw everything happening yesterday and I heard all the reports, Danny Breer said, I first thought it was a hoax. I don't know what happened or where he's at. I assume that what came out was true because everybody is reporting it. I don't know if he went for tests after he talked to me and if something happened, but I'm not too sure. However, if Kachuria's setback only keeps him out for a few weeks, the Flyers will survive, Breer said. We're still three or four weeks from the start of the season, so that would give him a little bit of time before we would have to make a decision as to whether or not they make a trade or do this or do that or whatever, said Briere, currently a special assistant to the GM. Then there is an entire write-up as to what the team could look like in this article. Kevin Hayes, Scott Lawton, Morgan Frost. I really like Morgan Frost. I definitely do want to still think that he has a lot more to show for. This is what Danny Briere said finally about the entire thing. There's still optimism about Kachuri as long as he isn't out for the year. Hopefully, it's something that's short. Joel Farabee, who is also talked about in this article, he should be short. If these guys miss a week or two at the beginning of the season, we should be fine. You look at our lineup, I really thought that with the mentality Torch is going to bring, that if we had a healthy team, we could surprise people. I'm not saying we'd win the Stanley Cup this year, but we would definitely take a step in the right direction. Now, it's a little frustrating with what's happening with the injury. And there is a reason why everybody goes out there and says that the Philadelphia Flyers are now cursed. Not only is it that Nolan Patrick that we had talked about, not only is it Ryan Ellis, but now it's their number one center. Again. And potentially with a back issue that is similar to what sidelined him for 60 games last year as well. We kind of got robbed for seeing an entire season's worth of Sean Couturier play. And now, if the guy's out for six to eight weeks, let's say he misses 20 games to start off the year, those 60 games becomes 82 games, and it becomes a fiscal year. That's a full year of Sean Couturier being sidelined. And I don't like that. I want to see this guy play. I want to see this guy contend for a selkie. I want to see him go out there and finally break past 75 points and get 80 on the year. He definitely can. He's talented enough to do that. It's just, my goodness, especially with Ryan Ellis as well. Like, you take a look at the caliber of talent that the Philadelphia Flyers just do not have available to them. This is crazy. This is not like Nikita Kucherov for Tampa Bay, where he's already playing for a stacked team that can make the playoffs and do very well without him. This is a guy that can definitely help out a team and incredibly impact the standing and the stopping power that they're able to present in the regular season. Ellis and Couturier could arguably win the Flyers like seven or eight more games single-handedly in a regular season. Like, I don't know, that sounds kind of crazy to say that two guys can help you win upwards of seven games on a year, but they're really good, especially compared to the rest of the talent that the Philadelphia Flyers have at their disposal. If you get an extra five, six, seven wins from two guys like that, that's like a max of 14 more points that you can get on the year. That's pretty significant when it comes to hunting down a wild card, for example. The caliber of talent that the Philadelphia Flyers are getting robbed away from them, it's disheartening. And I definitely don't want to go out there and see this problem persist for the long term. But at the end of the day, this is the update that we have. Sean Couturier is out. Hopefully, he's out for less than six to eight weeks. Hopefully, it is only week to week and he'll be fine soon, like he did say to Danny Briere on Monday earlier this week. But either way, if you're a Flyers fan, talk in the comments all your thoughts about Sean Couturier and his injury once more. Are you worried about this? Do you think he's going to be sidelined for an extended amount of time? Do you think there's going to be any surgeries or whatever herniated disc? I'm not too sure you can fill in the blanks, but let me know in the comments either way all your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And...
Bye.